just want to show you the relearn procedure on a 2005 Cadillac XLR folding or folding top uh, control module. So mine got fried because it got wet uh, over the last you know, 15, 16 years or so. Um, so I put a new one in, ordered it from GM Supply Warehouse or whatever one of those websites are. It's $500. Uh, pretty easy to put a new one in and then uh, but it doesn't come programmed so you need to uh, bring it someplace uh, and have it programmed so i brought it to a gm dealership a chevy dealership and they played with it for two hours and then came back and told me something must be wrong we weren't able to do it um, even though i had handed them instructions on exactly how to do it so uh, i'm not one to take defeat lightly um, so I took it upon myself to rent one of these Tech 2 tools. They're about $2,500, but you can rent them for 65 bucks from Borrow My Scan Tool. Um, and they come with the candy module that you need to talk to the computer. So one of the mistakes I made first was I didn't put this box in the middle of the harness. Um, so I wasn't able to talk to the machine at first, but I figured it out pretty quickly that I just forgot to hook that in the middle. Um, but I'm going to go through the procedure for you, and it takes a minute or two um, just to do it. And I'm not sure exactly why they weren't able to figure this out, because they said their shop foreman tried really hard and couldn't get it to do it. Um, but So you're going to turn it on with the power button down there. It won't power on unless it's plugged into the OBD2 port down here. Um, so if you get it and you're like, it's not powering on, um, it needs to be plugged in to power on. So it'll boot up, you hit enter. Um, one of the first things I do, or I did was, I went in here and just had it uh, request the info for the car. So you can see here that that's the info for my car, um, but it's a really easy process to get it to request the info. You just plug in your car's information, then it'll just confirm um, your VIN number and all that stuff, but I will, exit back and just go into the procedure here so it's diagnostics and then you go to your vehicle year 2005 passenger car down to Cadillac and then Y and then you go to vehicle control systems actually computer You'll hear it click um, as it's starting to talk to the car. And then you want to go to module setup here. And then you will see folding top module then folding top learn. So you will press enter again. You'll hear it connecting. And then these are all the procedures that it needs to learn. Um, so you will use this button under here to learn, and uh, once you hit that, hit the uh, top down button, and it will cycle through all of these and learn the, the seven steps, and then you're done. It takes no more than five minutes uh, once you know what you're doing, and I had never touched one of these before last night, and the only hiccup I had was forgetting to hook this thing in in the middle of the harness so I don't know why a dealership played with this for two hours and said that something was broken and they couldn't do it uh, because it was really really easy and, and very basic so uh, if you're struggling with this the issue that I had that led me to believe that my folding top control module was broken was that the trunk lid wouldn't go up um, it would go down on its own but it wouldn't go up on its own but if I manually lifted it up um, I could hit the the button and the rest of the procedures would would work um, and I could uh, hit the electric button and the folding top would come down um, but then if I went to uh, put the top back up I would again have to manually lift the trunk and then come in and hit the button um, and the rest of the steps would all happen um, when I replaced the module, um, the trunk would go up and down on its own like it, like it should, um, but it didn't know the rest of the steps. So that's why I had to come in and do the, the relearn on it. 
but renting this was $65, and the dealership that worked for two hours on it and said that they couldn't figure it out, um, even though I handed them instructions, charged me $100 for those two hours. So well worth your, your, your investment to spend the 65 bucks on renting it yourself.